Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I'm going to share with you Warren Buffett's three biggest rules for success. Let's get to it. So hey, my name is Mohan Pobert and if you're new to this channel, I'm here to share and document my journey in business. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years. I made money, lost money and I'm here to basically share with you what worked for me, what didn't work for me and mostly to open your eyes that there's another way to grow a business, which isn't just by doing more sales and marketing and saving costs, but you can also grow a business by buying other businesses or basically what we call grow by acquisitions versus growing organically. This is what this channel is all about. And yeah, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, all that stuff. It really helps me and see the links in the description below for more free value. But anyway, today I want to talk about Warren Buffett and I just want to talk about different people and bring their lessons to what really I took from them and how this apply mostly to the space of business and life in general. So Warren Buffett is probably, if not the most successful investor in the world out there. There's a lot to learn from him, I think, in terms of business and in terms of his personal life as well. He looks like a, a very uh, modest, amazing person, in my opinion, that I'd love to meet one day. But uh, either way, yeah, let's let's get to the exact lessons that you can take and implement in your life right away. So the first biggest lesson that I got from him is tap dance to work, which means basically enjoy work, learn to do something that you enjoy, and then you'll never need to work again. And you want to get to a point where life, where work and play is basically the same. For Warren Buffett, he was very lucky to find what he loves from a very young age. But for you, if you're not sure yet on what to do with your life, really just ask yourself questions like, what would you do every day if you had all the money in the world? Like literally imagine yourself, or even not all the money in the world, just imagine yourself one th for a second. What would you do with your life if you had like $100 million, $100 million in the bank, right? Just think to yourself, what would you do? And maybe you think to yourself, I'll go out there and I'll, I'll travel and I'll do all those little cool things. But Travel is a temporary thing. Would you travel for the rest of your life? If yes, then yeah, maybe you should find a career that involves that. But for many people, they just want to travel and then I will tell them, okay, what's next? They're like, yeah, I'd love to travel for like six months and, and then see all over the world for six months. But what's then? You're going to come back home and what's then? What do you want to do then? And this is really going to get you more focused and aligned on your peppers. And with that question of asking yourself, what would you do? If you had all the money in the world, also ask yourself, what would you do if you would never get paid for it? Any, There's no way you'll get paid for it, but you'll do it for free anyway, just because the enjoyment of doing it and the fulfillment that you get from doing what you're doing because of the contribution that it's going to give to others and stuff like that. So really ask yourself both of those questions and they're going to really get you I guess, towards your purpose and really tap dance into work, which I think is probably most the most important thing you can do with your life is to find a thing that you're going to enjoy doing, even if money is involved or not. I mean, most of your life or a very large chunk of your life is going to be spent working, basically. So what can you do to find a way to enjoy that work? I think it's probably one of the most important you can important thing you can do with your life. The second main lesson that I got from Warren Buffett is that whatever you do, basically stick for it for life. And it's not just in terms of, of business. So for example, for Warren Buffett, he's always talking about the fact that whatever business he's buying or investing in, he's looking at those businesses as businesses that you want to hold for life, to produce cash flow for life because he believes in the business model, because he believes in the people running those businesses. And I, I really like that idea. For me personally, I think that it's okay to sometimes just look at the short term things, especially obviously if you have potential exit in mind and things like that. But uh, I want to focus more about the, the, I guess, stick for it for life in terms of personal life as well, not just in business. Because what I see many people, especially in the space of business, is that they start a business, they tried for 30 days, 60 days, sometimes even a year or two, and they just give up. And they have a new, uh, I guess, shiny object syndrome. They need to find the next thing that they want to try. And wherever I see someone like that who's telling me, hey, I'm involved in basically everything or I'm trying to start a new business every 30 days, I know that these changes of be becoming successful is really low. It's really hard to be successful at something unless you're committing to mastery in that specific area. And that's what I think is really important to learn from Warren Buffett, that is looking at things long term. And whatever you start, if you want to start a business or buy a business, Think about what businesses you want to be involved in for life or what activity you want to be involved in for life 
don't think on the short term think about what would make you fulfilled and happy doing it forever basically and that's the way to really become successful because when your commit commitment is for forever like for me right now i'm committed to become to be that what i'm to basically do what i'm doing right now to look for businesses to buy and invest as a commitment for life and when i have that i don't care if i have some ups and downs i mean it's part of the game i mean life would be boring if you always be up part of having a cool story for your life is sometimes have ups and downs and and have those emotional roller coaster with yourself otherwise if you would always be happy you wouldn't appreciate the good times if you don't have the sad times you see what i mean so don't look at having ups and downs as something bad that's part of life but when you commit into mastery in one area for me it's investing in buying businesses uh, or just helping businesses in general then i don't care if i have ups and downs because my commitment is for life and i'm here for the process for the journey and then it's much easier to become the best in that area i hope that makes sense so that's my second biggest lesson stick whatever you do stick to it for a long time or basically for warren buffett is when he is investing or buying businesses it's basically a commitment for life owning that business for life and the third i guess main biggest lesson i got from warren buffett is just learning reading and learning and warren buffett says himself that he's reading like five or six hours a day and he wished that he knew how to read faster to basically accumulate more knowledge because for him especially his main uh, work right now is to go out there and deploy his capital in different sources so he need to learn all day long on what are the best options to deploy that capital and if warren buffett is learning five or six hours a day how many hours do you think you should learn i'm not saying learn all day but i'm saying make sure that learning is a big part of your life and obviously to add to that make sure execution as well is part of it otherwise if you only learn without executing execution um, you won't get results and in the end of the day you don't want just to be the person who have a lot of knowledge in his head because nowadays knowledge it's not counting and it means nothing people can just google something it's about what you do with that knowledge are you able to execute and the best way to execute is to have accountability and support around you and to be around people who already do what you want to do so or already achieve what you want to achieve so those are my biggest lessons and if you want to achieve more in terms of buying businesses or growing by acquisitions or just help your business in general go to moanpover.com forward slash quiz you can see a lot of free info there and just free value that we give based on where you're at in life if you have a small business if you have a job or if you have an existing business doing above half a million or a million year in sales we can help you grow it by acquisitions or some people just want to invest money into our deals passively so we're open to to help all of you if you want like i said go to that link or go see the description below for those links otherwise i hope you enjoyed it guys if you like this video please like it subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet and hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos because i'm posting them daily and let me know in the comments below what do you think about those lessons and do you have other big lessons from warren buffett that you learned that you want to share with me and i'd love i'd love to hear about it so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon